It's the Midas Tire and Auto Service experts call to the pen, and it is right-hander Drew Hutchison. Hutchison, uh, we talked about him earlier. He was the player acquired from the Blue Jays in the Francisco Liriano deal. He's picked seven times at the big league level this year, 1-0 with a 556. Had significant major league time with the Blue Jays in 2012. Again in 14, he was 11 and 13 in 2014 for Toronto. 13 and 5 the next year. That would be last year, but a high ERA of 5.57. The majority of this season spent at AAA in the Blue Jay organization. So former teammates, huh? Kawasaki and Hutchison matching up. Yeah, indeed. With the Jays. Richardson, uh, 26 years of age. So Strike call. As a big leaguer, 30 and 21 with a 4.95 ERA. About all of that with the Jays. He's made four appearances with uh, Pittsburgh prior to tonight. One of those a start. <laughs> Figures to be in the mix in spring training to battle for a rotation spot next year. Ended Juan Nicasio's strikeout streak. He had fanned at least one in 33 consecutive games. That was a single season Pirates record for a reliever. Shallow center and McCutcheon will make the catch. Six to one Cubs, three outs to go in the ninth. It's the fabric that brings an entire nation together. It says to the world, we will never lose faith. We believe in this team. Her generation, his generation, the next generation. Maybe this October, if we fly it high enough and loud enough and proud enough, well, you get the idea. A well put together man is said to be sharp. At GMC, we get why people appreciate that kind of precision. After all, precision is the kind of sharp that slices through a crowd. This is the precision of professional grade. It's the GMC 2016 model year sell down. Now get 20% below MSRP on select Sierra 1500 models in stock. That's over $10,300 on this Sierra SLT crew. the game presented by Benny's Beverage Depot. Chris Coglin's the man tonight. Continues his good work as of late. Single and a steal and then the big hit three run triple. Benny's the official champagne provider of the Chicago Cubs. He gave that one a mighty lash. Almost had grand slams consecutive ball games. Baez cleared the bases last night. Off the top of the wall for a three run triple. Here comes Justin Grimm, the Reaper, for the 66th time. He's picked up a win, a loss along the way, a 371 ERA. 
Those runs in the top of the ninth were unearned due to the error. Francisco Cervelli will lead it off. He went. Ball made it first by Chris Guccione. Three scoreless, hitless inning so far for the Cubs bullpen tonight. Wood, Cahill, Montgomery, Edwards combining for some good work. Passing the baton along, and now Grimm on to finish it off. Hit well to deep center. Almore is back. And it hit his glove, but he couldn't haul it in. And Cervelli will stand at second. Probably will be given a double. Albert got there, got a glove on it, couldn't haul it in. Yeah, it looked like he was going to be able to make the play on this ball. It would have been a fine play. The ball was really well struck. He had a long way to go, but he was in position. Just didn't wrap the leather around the cowhide. Mercer with a man at second. Nobody out. Curve in the dirt. Justin Grimm was a starter at one point with the Rangers. Be interesting to see at some point down the road if he mm -hmm. yeah, talked about it the last year that he, he wanted to get a chance to compete for a spot in the rotation. I don't know if he still feels that way or not. Strike. It's one and two. One thing that plays in his favor when you contemplate Grimm as a starting pitcher is his ability to get right and left handed hitters out. Estella got him. One out here in the night. Crowd tonight, 22,454. Many have left. Big fan of the vendor right there behind home plate. Nice guy. He usually has a throwback uniform on and. Usually has a, kind of a fun mustache. Yeah, yeah he's clean shaven these clean days. Shaven. Look at those pinstripes. Looks like Kent Colvy. <laughs> <laughs> if he slings his peanuts from down under. Very enthusiastic. Low. They did give Cervelli a double. Three and one on freeze. He walked him. Well, 
The bench hits Adam Frazier. That's a strike. have one more double play in them. One and two. a sign from Montero and he fires and there is a bouncer but it's foul. Kansas City Royals facing elimination six games back in the American League wild card going into play tonight. But just a matter of time before the defending champs are eliminated from postseason contention. Uh, they're still playing tonight. Going to the 11th at home against Minnesota. Two two. Lead 6 1, bottom nine. 2 2 pitch to Frazier. Ooh, just low. Good try by Grimm. Cardinals pouring it on. They now lead the Reds 11 to 5 in the sixth inning. Base is loaded now as the Pirates try to rally here in the bottom of the ninth. And maybe just try to put a little extra mustard on that heater and lost command. It's a, it's a trust factor. Just, just don't want to throw it in there. So you try to get a little something extra and misfire. Part of the uh, formula with Grimm. Uh, it's a pretty high walk rate. But he strikes out a bunch of guys, too. So base is full. As Polanco climbs in. A double and two walks here in the inning. That was an awkward swing and a curveball. Jake Arietta, Jamison Tyone tomorrow night, right here on CSN, 6 o'clock Central. Thursday night, lefty Rob Zestrizny. It'll be a bullpen night for the Cubs. Right hander Ivan Nova for the Pirates.
Pittsburgh's only run came in the second. Actually, the run scored on a double play ball. That was off John Lackey. Threatening again here in the ninth, and a base hit to left. Six to two. And there within slam range now is Andrew McCutcheon. Is due. Pirates credit for continuing the battle here. Fazio making his way to the mound. Good looking young player. Much talked about before he got to the big leagues a couple of years ago as their top prospect, or certainly one of their top prospects. We talked earlier about Almora developing more power, and that's what we've seen with Polanco as he matures as a hitter. 22 home runs this, this year. This time he just. Lines that ball the other way. Driving the ball with much more authority this year is Polanco. The pitch to McCutcheon. Low. Another dangerous hitter on deck, Gong. You know, this is all of a sudden not particularly comfortable for Justin Grimm. Two and oh. And for John Lackey. Yeah, he's trying to get his 11th win tonight. And the organist here at PNC Park is not mailing it in. Curve strike. Two and one. Pitch number 26 of the inning. Swing and a miss. He just swung at ball three. Two and two. The organist might not be mailing it in, but I think the, the, uh, the video board operator is. They didn't play their uh, their rally video, did they? I don't think so. And when the Pirates are trailing here entering the ninth, they usually play that video from Pirates of the Caribbean. What's her name? Uh, you would know better than I. Miss Turner. Karen Knightley. Voice the colors and all that good stuff. It's been pretty effective. I mean, I don't think it helps them score any runs, but it's effective in, in its entertainment value. Being that they're pirates and all. Three and two of the bases loaded. Got that hammer on him. The pitch. Oh, Peter. At the end of the bat foul on a fastball. Pitch number seven of the sequence on its way. Base hit. 
And two runs will score. It's six to four now. First hit of the series for McCutcheon. They fought off the fastball, then they got a breaking ball that stayed up in the zone. That'll do it for Justin. Well, ironic, we were talking about him coming in with a save on the line when the Cubs scored two unearned runs, but his exit will create a save spot for, I believe, Felix Pena. And we'll be right back. It's the fabric that brings an entire nation together. It says to the world, we will never lose faith. We believe in this team. Her generation, his generation, the next generation. Maybe this October, if we fly it high enough and loud enough and proud enough, well, you get the idea. The choice is simple. Ankin, 312, 6 million. I'm Dan Fields of the Fields Auto Group. We've prepared a Joe Madden Signature Edition vehicle. It will be raffled off at the end of the season with the proceeds going to many of Joe's favorite charities. But not before I have the pleasure of driving it to and from the ballpark. Thank you, Dan, and everyone at Fields Auto Group for this special vehicle and for making this all possible. For official raffle rules and complete details on how you can win this Joe Madden Signature vehicle, go to FieldsAuto.com. It is an honor for Fields Auto Group to help good causes like Cubs Charities and Misericordia. Fields matters because you matter. I got the swing of uh, Andrew McCutcheon here. Recognizes his spin. He's out on that front foot. Makes a little adjustment. Gets the hands pulled in. And drops the barrel on that breaking pitch to deliver the two-run single. Well, this is a fun moment, isn't it? Felix Pena, the rookie, comes out of the bullpen making his 11th appearance. Got a chance to pick up a big league save. In the third innings, he struck out 11, allowed five hits, a couple of walks. He uh, saved three ball games down at AAA this year in 36 appearances. So, first and second, tying runs are on base. Jong Ho Gung. The batter. Pena's first pitch is a breaking ball low and outside for ball one. Calibrated, found the zone. Hits even at eight now. Fastball, strike two. Really cooled off, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Started at 70. We might be in the upper 50s by now. Wind not a factor. Clear night. Yeah. Oh, and that one gets away. Gong is out. He tries to get the first, but he'll be told he has to head to the dugout. More significantly, 
with the runners moving up a base the tying runs are both in scoring position. And you cannot reach base on that particular play with less than two outs of first base already occupied. I'm sure clearly knows the rule but caught up in the moment. Joyce is going to get walked here. Yeah, they won't give Joyce an opportunity. Instead, they're going to go after Rodriguez. So going with the platoon advantage here, it'll be righty against righty with the bases loaded. Yeah, and you know, conventional wisdom says, man, you don't want to put the winning run on base. Uh, but and Joe would tell you is I'm not so much worried about that. I'm just trying to protect my lead, and the best way to protect the lead is to have the righty face the right right-handed hitter. And nobody loosening in the Cubs bullpen. They're all kind of standing and watching. This is Felix Pena's inning. Yeah, and again, that's just a byproduct of where the Cubs are at the end of the season, getting ready for the postseason. This game really meaningless. On many levels, you still want to win. You're not going to crank somebody up that you did not intend on using tonight. Alan Hansen will run for Joyce. We've learned one thing tonight. Sean Rodriguez's nickname is Cheech. Yeah. Yeah. Here's somebody from the pirate dugout when he comes up to hit. Pirates down to their final strike. 0 and 2. Try to tell Felix Pena this is a meaningless game. He's got a chance to pick up his first big league save. Here's 0 2. Cubs win. Cubs win. Rodriguez foul tips. He claims the ball hit the dirt. Quinn Walcott will have nothing of it as he's already walking toward the umpire's room. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute here. Good breaking ball by Pena. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they've thought about it, but there will be no challenge. Game over. So Felix Pena does notch the save, and the Cubs have taken the first two games of this series. And 101 wins for the first time since 1909. Well, pretty impressive work. I mean, it was a struggle here at the end. And John Lackey picks up his 11th win. Chris Coughlin, the offensive hero. And the Cubs line up and shake hands for the 101st time. So we're back here tomorrow at 6 o'clock Central on CSN for Game 3. Cubs and the Pirates tomorrow night for J.D. For Reuben Kincaid and our entire crew here at PNC Park. Len Casper with your final score, Cubs six. Come on, get happy. Pirates four. Stay tuned. Blue Cross Blue Shield Cubs post game live is next. This beer has conviction. For us, it's Rocky Mountain water or nothing. Coors Banquet, that's how it's done. In Chicago, some things just go together, like front porches and blue W's, bricks and ivy. 
Waveland Avenue, and Souvenirs. Jake and State Farm. Like home and auto insurance with State Farm, they just go together. And they save you time and money. Just another way we're here to help life go right. Talk to a State Farm agent today. Ford is America's best-selling brand, and you can see why. Ford Fusion has the turbocharged power and efficiency of the EcoBoost engine and handles almost any condition with intelligent all-wheel drive. Plus, Focus offers next-generation voice-activated SYNC 3 technology and the added safety of the blind spot information system. Right now, get a Focus or Fusion with 0 for 72 plus 1750 bonus cash or lease a Fusion for just $189 a month. Only at your local Ford store. Play hard, party hard. That's what I tell my players. When it's time to celebrate, I shop at Benny's Beverage Depot. Benny's is the official champagne provider of the Chicago Cubs. And like I coach the guys, if you can't find it at Benny's, it's probably not worth drinking. Cubs baseball on CSN Chicago is brought to you in part by Southwest Airlines. Transparency, low fares, nothing to hide. Your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Honda dealers, as reliable as the cars themselves. Xfinity, Xfinity X1 will change the way you experience TV. Audi, truth in engineering. Menards, save big money at Menards. And by Toyota, discover more in a Toyota. Visit buyatoyota.com or your local Toyota dealer today. Let's go places. This is Cubs Post Game Live. Presented by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. Cubs get it done again. 101 wins. Most since 1909 for the Chicago National League Ball Club. 6 8 and 2. It's a little bit better at 4 8 and 1. John Lackey is 11th win of the season. Ryan Bogosong falls to 3 and 7. Pena picks up his first career save. Hello, welcome in to Cubs Post Game Live, presented by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. He is Todd Hollinsworth. I'm David Kevin. Let's get this right out of the way first. <laughs> Cubs get their Alrighty. hundred and first Boom. win. Big W tonight for the Cubbies, and they play pretty well. And Lackey was really good. Good to see. Uh, you know, you think back to 101 wins this year and how this is kind of all gone. You look at tonight's ball game, and I think it's very similar, right? Get a lot of you know, get a lot of offense going early behind great starting pitching. Not that we had a little dicey, diciness there at the end with Justin Grimm. Things got a little uh, off. Uh, the Pirates, uh, they pushed back. But again, it turns into a Cubs win. So it was good to see. Good at bats, Chris Coughlin staking his claim to maybe a playoff spot. Good to see his performance in this ballgame. Lackey outstanding as well. Some good offense, some good opportunities early in the ballgame. A lead that maintained itself all game long. As I say, gets a little dicey there at the end. But again, a Cubs win 101. All right, we will give you a chance to get interactive with our show. Get your mobile laptop, tablet, laptop or tablet ready <laughs> for me to say. Head to see us at Chicago.com slash vote. Just a few minutes, we'll bring you our live fan vote. All right, let's take a look at the highlights from this one, and there's a lot of them. Top of the second, Cubs have loaded the bases without a hit, and with two outs, Chris Coglin comes through. A drive to right center field that goes off the wall. This will clear the bases. Coglin slides in with a triple, and it is 3-0 Chicago. All right, 3-1 Cubs in the fourth. Man on second, Dexter Fowler finds the right center field gap, and that is going to plate Munenori <laughs> Kawasaki. He'll roll around from second to score. Cubs have increased their lead. It is now 4-1. to one. All right, top of the ninth after a Gregory Polanco error made it 5-1. Javi Baez singles up the middle. Miguel Montero scores it 6-1. Javi with seven RBIs, first two games of this series. Now, bottom of the ninth, looks like this should be on cruise control, not so. Justin Grimm struggled again. He loaded the bases, Gregory Polanco singles. It's a 6-2 ball game. Then, Andrew McCutcheon, who has not had a great season, but is an MVP caliber player, singles on a 3-2 pitch to drive in a pair. It's a 6-4 ball game with the winning run, striding to the plate. 
Joe Madden says that's enough, and in comes Felix Pena. Jung Ho Gung will strike out, but on that play, the ball gets by Miggy Montero. He cannot advance to first because there were runners at first and second, but the runners advance to second and third with two away after an intentional walk to Matt Joyce. Cubs fan favorite Sean Rodriguez strikes out on a hook that Holly called. He'll be punching the water cooler after this one. Swinging strikeout. <laughs> Cubs win 6-4. And I'm not a big fan of Sean Rodriguez. No. A little bit of a goof for me, but you called that pitch. You saw the hook coming on one, the first two pitches. You said throw the same pitch again. Well, right. You're not going to mess around. Rodriguez has had a nice year, a very good year offensively, and again, being in that situation. you got to remember, uh, Joe Madden put the winning run on base right there, a little uh, unorthodox to some, but again, picked the matchup. That's what he wanted right there. So the base is loaded, made some pitches, decided to go with the slider right there to get the strikeout, which was the pitch to do. He had him set up, actually threw him a couple better sliders to hit, Prior to that, the best slider of the group was the last one you saw right there to get the strikeout. So nice pitching performance by Pena right there in that situation. Grimm, again, struggled with his command, and you watch the at-bats as they kind of materialized, fell behind hitters. And when you fall behind hitters, you find yourself in hitters' counts. They made him pay. All right, time for our Elk Grove pitching recap. You got John Lackey against Ryan Vogelsong, who ironically was on the mound in 2003 when the Cubs clinched the division at Wrigley. UPS store taking care of business player of the game in a second, but you look at Lackey, five innings, five hits, 93 pitches, a little elevated for five innings, but uh, he had pretty good stuff. Well, he did. He got himself in trouble in a couple different spots. That second inning, I mean, obviously let off with a base hit uh, by Joyce and Rodriguez. Those are two guys in the lineup that kind of gave him fits, Joyce and Rodriguez right there. Uh, gets a double play to limit the damage. That's really what it comes down to for me. John made big pitches. Now, Vogelsong, comparably, you know, the stat line's a little different in that he gave up a few more earned runs. He just wasn't able to get that big out. That's what John did tonight. He put himself behind it a couple different times. I thought, you know, it kind of gave you that vibe of being in complete control. But then, you know, you get to that fourth inning. Walk, base hit, walk. Next thing you know, the bases are loaded. He gets a line drive, double play there in the fourth inning. The fifth inning, very similar. A couple more guys on, but gets a couple strikeouts around it. So all in all, again, a good performance from John Lackey. 93 pitches, yeah, slightly elevated. Probably could have gone back out there. But made pitches tonight when he needed to with runners on base. Like the second half in 11 starts. Whip a .977. Very, very good in the ERA of 276. UPS are taking care of business player of the game. We're going to go Chris Coughlin. Two hits, three RBIs, a stolen base, and I will be surprised if he is not on the playoff roster. Well, we talked about this at the beginning of September. Certain individuals that needed to make pushes here in September to start, you know, jockeying for those spots on the roster. Chris Coughlin has done his part. Again, tonight gets the start. Uh, you saw the triple, you saw the base hit there, good at bats, a walk, a stolen base, doing so many things well. And then again, you, you've got the versatility, outfield, first base, you can move him around, you can do a lot of different things. I loved it when they picked him up. He was having a miserable season with the Oakland A's, comes back over, and it's like Chris just picks up where he left off from last year, putting up great numbers. You see that right there over the last two weeks, 394 batting average, seven runs, the extra bases, the RBIs. Look at the on-base percentage, getting on base two out of every four times. That's 500, you see it there, and the slugging to go along way that Chris can do so many different things. He can pinch hit, he can come off the bench, give you a couple of at-bats, he's a good defender, just about everywhere you stick him on the field. So answering the bell in September, which I think is big. I mean, again, we were talking about this, and you're doing it right here. We're putting playoff rosters together already, having fun I with am. it. I got it right? all We were here. doing it just before we came on air, and, you know, this is what it's all about. I mean, you've got to be playing well. When you're in that position and you're, you know, kind of jockeying for spots and you've got a certain number of left-handed hitters and you know how these rosters tend to go, you want to be playing great baseball. Baseball. Cogs is doing that right now. How many guys do you think have played well, at least one at bat in left field this year? <laughs> think about that. I'll tell you the correct answer after the break. Time for a break here at Cubs Post Game Live, presented by Blue Cross Blue Shield. We'll be right back with our interactive fan ball at CSHCoggin.com slash vote. We'll be with you in a sec. Cubs Post Game Live is presented by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. Through it all.
We are the Coors Brewing Company. And our mountain is brewing the world's most refreshing beer. A beer proud enough to wear our name in big, red, scripted letters. That's why we lager, filter, and package cold. Because we believe every climb deserves a refreshing finish. Whatever your mountain, climb on. It's Peyton on Sunday morning. Hey, man. What up, Peyton? You know I have direct TV NFL Sunday ticket. I get every game, every Sunday, all in HD. Uh, yeah, I know that. So you want to come over? I'll make nachos. I can't right now, man. I'm playing. All right. That's the end for Tuesday. Get NFL Sunday ticket only on DirecTV and watch live football anywhere. Switch today and get a $100 reward card. I'm Dan Fields of the Fields Auto Group. We've prepared a Joe Madden Signature Edition vehicle. It will be raffled off at the end of the season with the proceeds going to many of Joe's favorite charities. But not before I have the pleasure of driving it to and from the ballpark. Thank you, Dan, and everyone at Fields Auto Group for this special vehicle and for making this all possible. For official raffle rules and complete details on how you could win this Joe Madden Signature Vehicle, go to FieldsAuto.com. It is an honor for Fields Auto Group to help good causes like Cubs Charities and Misericordia. Fields matters because you matter. Did you know that the average funeral can cost more than $8,300? I didn't want my family burdened with the cost of my funeral. So I called Final Expense Direct and got a policy of my own. For as little as $1 a day, Final Expense Direct has policies that can help pay the cost of your funeral. Plus, you'll get the Family Relief Guide. There's no medical exam, and my policy can't be canceled. Call now for a free quote. Call 800-871-3452. Why fly O'Hare when you can fly N-Jet? N-Jet, Chicagoland's choice in jet charter service. Just drive up, take off. For a quote, visit n-jet.com or call 888-FLY-N-JET. Time now for our Four Seasons Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Who's hot and who's not? Who's hot in their career versus the Pirates? Araldis Chapman, 44 innings, an ERA, a sparkling 102, allowing just 22 hits, punching out 78. Who's not? Pitcher Jordan Lyles, brutal in seven outings, an ERA of 739 and a whip of 1579. Brutal. All right, welcome back to Cubs Post Game Live, presented by Blue Cross Blue Shield. Time for our Cubs fan poll. To vote, visit csnchicago.com slash vote. You do not need a special app. Just visit that website. You can get interactive with Holly and with me. Today, we're asking you this question. Put in order the starting rotation for the Chicago Cubs in the playoffs. Again, go to head at csnchicago.com slash vote, and you can vote. Why don't you, Mr. Expert, tell us what you would do? Well, I will do just that, and I already see the voting coming in, and I think we're going to agree. Uh, everybody's kind of got a rhythm for what they think is going to happen with this rotation. I'm going to put some numbers to it. I'm going to make this uh, a lot easier for a everybody. A compelling case, so to speak. Well, I, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, when you look at this rotation, I think that if we were to put everybody's name in a hat, shake it up a little bit, and start pulling names out, and if Joe came out, Joe Madden came out and said, this is my starting rotation, and we all went and scratched our heads, I think we would still agree that this is the best rotation in baseball and that all five of these guys have pitched very well this year. I think the obvious answer in game one, we know John Lester right here. He's going to get the ball. He has had, well, we're not going to do that quite yet because we just went black. Yes, we did. We are going all that to technical difficulty. talk our way through this. We've got John Lester right there at the top of the rotation. Why do we have John Lester there? Well, here's the thing. Simple numbers would be this. He's pitching very, very well right now. 10 and 2, 172 ERA at Wrigley Field this season. He's got all of his pitches working the two seamer, the four seamer, the cutter, the slow curveball, the changeup. He's been doing it. But get a load of this. Over his last seven starts, everybody, 6 and 0 with a .54 ERA. That's somebody you hand the ball to in game one. Now, game two starter for me is going to be Kyle Hendricks, 9 and 2 with a 132 ERA at Wrigley Field. Here's what you want to hear. His whip at home this year, .86. In 95 innings at Wrigley Field, 14 walks, four homers allowed. Now, he's been good on the road, and he is a Cy Young contender, no doubt. But he has been an absolute beast at Wrigley Field. Pitching out of the three spot is the guy that I would hand the ball to on any field, Jake Arrieta. He's pitched very, very well at home. He's pitched well on the road. But here's the one thing. When we talk about Jake Arrieta, 
we know that he's had some issues with command this year. You know, the walks, they've stood out. Well, here's the thing. At home this year, in 99 innings at home, 46 walks. Now, he's got a 185 batting average against, and I've told you many, many times, he still is the most uncomfortable at bat in this Cubs rotation. But those 46 walks stand out, and here's why. When you look at what he's done on the road, 11-2 with a 3-11 ERA, but only 28 walks in 92 innings. So we've got him in that three spot there. We've got our board back, and then there's the obvious answer. This is why you brought him in. John Lackey, he's had that kind of season. He's pitched very well in the second half. I think he's a slam dunk there for your four spot. That's a heck of a rotation. It's not one I think we would have done maybe at the beginning of the year, but John Lester, Kyle Hendricks, Jake Arrett, and John Lackey, it's pretty four, pretty, four pretty good answers there for uh, the DS. All right. Look, I didn't come here for a haircut. I came here to get jewelry. Let's get it on. He said the other day again, another great quote. Let me know when the big boy games start, when the game, the real games start. Right. This is John Lackey I'm talking about. He and John Lester have both won World Series. Right. Jake and Kyle haven't. You take a guy like Lackey, a guy like Lester, how much of a vocal presence will they be as this playoff starts about, guys, here's what it takes now? Because well, a lot of our guys have never, ever experienced that kind of pressure with this expectation. A year ago, it was, well, the Cubs are there. Right. Well, that's a message that's going to be delivered at the beginning, you know, before the playoffs. Monday through Thursday, these guys are all going to talk, especially to the guys that haven't been down the road, that haven't necessarily had the experience of the postseason or what those nerves are going to be. I've talked about it all the time throughout my career, what you learn as a big leaguer. You get to the big leagues, you establish yourself at the big leagues, and then you try to do some things at the big leagues, win a few awards, go to a few all-star games, win a World Series. There's things that you want to do. There's a checklist. There's that one, getting to the playoffs. It's a different atmosphere. You and I know this, I know this as a player, that when you get up there and, and you get on the mound and you get in the batter's box, when there's a packed house and a national television audience and everything matters, controlling that adrenaline, controlling those emotions can be difficult. So there certainly is going to be some messages that need to be delivered to some of the younger guys on this team. But let me say this. Those message, messages will be delivered early. They will be delivered before the DS starts. We'll see ultimately where it goes. Now, if there needs to be something that needs to be said along the way or if a particular individual starts to struggle, there's other messages that can be delivered. But it's not something that you always address during competition or during a particular series. So I don't think there's too much there. But a lot of those messages will be delivered, as I said, Monday through Thursday. All right. Everybody agrees with how you had the rotation. I agree with how you had the rotation and you at home agree. Time for the Honda winning box score, and this one belongs to the Chicago Cubs. Chris Coughlin, we gave the player of the game two for four, that big three-run triple, a walk, a stolen base. He had a couple knocks again for Javi Baez. He's got seven RBIs, first two games of the series. A hit for Kawasaki, you had a hit for Dexter Fowler, and then not a heck of a lot else, but you didn't have uh, Russell in the lineup, and you didn't have Bryant tonight. Well, and let me say this, Almora had a nice game as well. Comes into the ball game, two great at bats, two big hits there as well. He's also, at least in my personal opinion, uh, vying for a playoff spot. I don't spot. understand we'll why he wouldn't make the, the playoff roster, simply because he gives you outstanding defense right. in a tight ball game. He gives you speed. Those well, are things I just, that are you, you, big you, commodity. I don't think that we know what the deciding factors are going to be. I mean, I don't know if you're looking at Almora thinking that he's going to be getting a start during the postseason. So really what you're talking about is the extension of your bench. Who are you going to be going up against? What does their team look like? Who are the guys, you know, who are your who, who are your extra infielders, who are your extra outfielders? You can't take all extra outfielders, you know what I mean? So, you know, you're in a position where it may actually become about matchups and who you who are you more likely to use. So we'll see. He's done nothing. Let me say this, he's done nothing to play himself off the roster. All right, we'll see what happens. We'll be right back. Cup Post Game Live continues, presented by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. Cubs Post Game Live is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. Visit MyKiaChicago.com to learn more. Comparing midsize sedans? Here's what puts the Kia Optima ahead of the Nissan Altima. The Kia Optima has an available surround view monitor and turbo engine. The Nissan Altima does not. The 2016 Kia Optima is a KBB.com Best Buy award winner. The Nissan Altima came up short there, too. Discover the next generation Optima. It's not your average midsize sedan. Hurry in during Kia's fall savings time and lease the Optima LX for $179 a month or get 0% financing. If it rains and it's you might lose TV. No 
We actually have Xfinity, so weather isn't a problem. Don't get left behind with DirecTV. Xfinity gives you reliable TV service, rain or shine. Sign up today or get started with this great offer. Call or go online today. Danley's is offering an incredible deal. Get $1,500 off any Danley's garage. With over 200,000 satisfied customers since 1959, Danley's is the best garage builder in Chicago for price, quality, and service. That's right, all sizes and all styles are on sale now. And with $1,500 off any Danley's garage, we are keeping money in your pocket. So call Danley's today, 773-GARAGE. In your garage and quality, depend on Danley's. That's why we're number one. Hi, how can I help you? I got this. We're looking for something safe and spacious, has a rear view camera, and it's streaming audio for me to get my jam on. How about a Honda CRV? Named Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Buy for 2016. My work here is done. Get a great deal on a Honda CRV. Named the Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Buy for 2016. Only at the Honda Take Home a CRV sales event. Fields Auto Group built Joe Madden, a signature Madden vehicle with a unique baseball theme. And in October, the 4x4 will be raffled off. Find out how to get raffle tickets for this event. Visit FieldsAuto.com. Time for our Blue Cross Blue Shield key to tonight's game. Holly Time 28, fire away. All right, I had a moment. Uh, I know that we won our, or the Cubs won their 101. Started the first game this, this year. Javi Paez got hit by a pitch. Uh, don't get hurt. That was really the key to the game. I, you know, I, I, I guess this is more, you know, over at MLB, MLB Network. We kind of had, you know, reaction to, to the Nats. They lost their starting catcher, Wilson Ramos, to a torn ACL. How significant that's going to be during the playoffs. Just a friendly reminder. It's not like you're going to remind your players not to play hard or go about their business. It's just, I guess, my wishful thinking of don't get hurt. 101, 102, 103 as this team continues to pile up the wins. This is all good news. The team's playing very good baseball right now. Uh, it's the one thing that is in the back of your manager's mind and the rest of our minds is that any key players, you certainly want to see them stay sharp and stay ready, but you don't want anybody getting hurt right now. All right, let's take a look at you know, the National League wild card action because it's getting intense. Through an incredibly emotional win last night, D. Gordon and the Marlins with a really tough test against a great pitcher, Noah Syndergaard, and the wild card leading Mets. You had to wonder if they'd have anything left in the tank. Marlins up one in the second, but Jay Bruce puts an end to that. An absolute blast to the upper deck in right field. His 31st puts the Mets up 2-1. Then more long ball from the Mets in the third this time. Joanna Cespedes with a mammoth blast to that ugly sculpture thing in left center. That's his 31st of the season as well. This one all Mets 12-1 the final. Here are the standings. Cardinals up 12-5 in the eighth. Let's assume they win. They'll pick up a half game. As Holly mentioned, Nationals say Wilson Ramos will miss the rest of the regular season and the postseason with a torn ACL. All-star catcher suffered the injury in Monday's game against the Diamondbacks in 131 games this season for Washington. 307 hitter, 22 bombs, 80 RBIs. Also more trouble for Washington. It appears Steven Strasburg will not be ready to pitch in the DS because of a strained flexor in his right arm. And Bryce Harper jammed his thumb. There's a lot of things going on around baseball right now. Noah Syndergaard, last man standing in that Mets rotation. Steven Matz is going to have surgery to have a bone chip removed. He is no longer available. This Mets team doesn't look anything like it did at the beginning of the season. So you're looking at the wild card. I mean, this is like last man standing stuff. If the Cardinals can figure out how to win in St. Louis, I think that they might be the most dangerous team of the group. But right now, you're just looking at three teams that are trying to find a path. All right, Giants playing tonight. So we'll see how that shakes out. Pitching matchup tomorrow, Jake Arrieta takes on Jamison Tyon. You'll catch the game right here at CSN. Holly and I will have the post game show. Thanks so much for watching Cubs post game live presented by Blue Cross Blue Shield. Chuck! And Bill Max with White Sox Post Game Live. If you feel like singing a song, and you want
and other people to sing along and just sing what you feel don't let anyone say it's wrong when there's a light what light when there's a light what light when there's a light why light our mountains challenge us Push us back. Knock us down. Tell us it can't be done. But then, one day you reach the summit. And you realize, the harder the climb, the better the reward. Coors Light. Whatever your mountain. Climb on. Hello? This is she. Is that the doctor? Okay, wow, really? It's two? it's two? That's great news, thank you. It's two? Yes, it's two. It's two for one windows at Feldco. Feldco is offering two windows for the price of one, with no money down and no interest for one year. Two windows for the price of one ends Friday. Hurry, call now. For quality windows, siding and doors, call 866 for Feldco. Why jump out of a perfectly good airplane? Why not? Chicagoland Skydiving Center was voted the best in the U.S. with a perfect safety record, a one-of-a-kind environment, and round-trip shuttle service from downtown Chicago. Come experience the greatest adventure in the area, Chicagoland Skydiving Center in Rochelle. Visit us at perfectlygoodairplane.com. Now playing on DirecTV Cinema before it's available on Netflix or Redbox. In December 1977, paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren experienced a phenomenon no one could explain. <laughs> Witness the event that shocked the world. <laughs> the Conjuring 2. Movies start at Channel 125. White Sox Post Game Live, presented by Subaru. All right, White Sox win their fourth in a row, scoring the most runs this season in a nine-inning game. Chris Sale gets his 17th victory of the season. That ties his career high as the White Sox roll over the Rays, 13-6. And hello, it is Subaru White Sox Post Game Live here with Belton Bill Melton. I'm Chuck R. Fine. Well, this was all about Chris Sale. Maybe it was his last start of the season. Maybe it wasn't. We're going to find out hopefully uh, tonight on the show. We'll see if Robin Ventura reveals that. But he is our UPS store taking care of business player of the game. What did you see from Sale here tonight? I basically saw a lot better things tonight than I saw the other day. I mean, you know, this is a young Tampa Bay team, and you got to go right after him. Chris won seven innings. He did get a 17th win. I'm not sure what's going to happen any more than you are on Sunday, but knowing Chris Sale, he'll want to throw to get number 18. But I think, you know, if he's passed last year 16 at 17, you really have to ask yourself, where's the where's the value in that extra game? Yeah, that's a good question. That's something that I think they're all to get together and figure out what they want to do. He had given up six runs against the Phillies in his last start, but uh, here he is, three runs, seven strikeouts, no walks, gets his 17th win of the season. And when he went 17 and eight back in 2012, we thought, he would uh, be a 20-game winner by now. He certainly has pitched good enough to be a 20-game winner. Hasn't happened. And we'll see how the Cy Young Award shakes out with him this year now. Well, he's going to be in the running. He'll be in the top five based on his numbers. We're talking about strikeouts, yeah. uh, walks, you name it, wins. He'll be right up there with wins with 17. You know, we saw him pitch about five games where he had zero support. So he knows he can win 20 oh, games. Yeah. We know it. It's really the wins now. Have to, you have to look at your ball club and see where they were and what they were doing. Uh, well, the first game back for eight, uh, Adam Eaton was uh, tonight. He had missed three in a row after crashing into the wall in Cleveland back on Friday. Uh, I wasn't sure if he was 100%, but he sure came back with a vengeance, certainly in the first two innings, a, a double and then a single to get the game started. Yeah, he was swinging about really good when he went down. I, you know, a good rest like that, you get a little bit strong for your last maybe seven games or what's ever left now. But yeah, I mean, he, you don't lose a lot just because you're, you know, you kind of knocked yourself a little bit silly. You just get rid of the aches and pains. Maybe first couple of nights you don't sleep really well, but I don't think that really affects anything. 
And there he is, still in a base, so maybe he was uh, better than what we expected. He just wasn't going full speed ahead around the bases. That's why we're wondering if he really was 100%, but he wanted to play here tonight. Then there is Larry Garcia. Here is a guy who, if you would have said to me, who's the last person on the roster who's probably going to get a triple and a home run in his first yeah. two at-bats? It was Larry Garcia, and yet he does it. And how about this for a stat from our CSN stat guru, Chris Kampka. The last three hitters for the White Sox to get a triple and a home run in the same game, all three of them batted ninth in the order. We're talking J.B. Shuck this year, Tyler Flowers last year, Larry Garcia this year. Yeah, Larry Garcia really hasn't had a lot of playing time. I think last year he got a little bit, a lot less this year. He came up because of injuries, but this is the, the kind of things that you have to show primarily to the organization, secondly to a group of scouts in the stand that are maybe trying to put a deal together with the White Sox. Yeah. They might want somebody with a lot of speed. We got him from Texas. He hasn't had a lot of playing time. He's been in the minor leagues most of the time. Not much of a power hitter. This was his second career yeah. home run in 315 plate appearances. Okay, we're going to hear from Robin Ventura. Maybe we'll get some uh, decision made on sale for his next start if there is one. It's brought to you by Xfinity. Another uh, strong night for Chris. He was good. Um, you know, I think velocity-wise, you know, he didn't ha necessarily crank it up, uh, get it going. It, it, on a few occasions, he did, but you know, he just—it was a manageable game, and I, I think he did a great job of just, um, you know, he wasn't really the strikeout guy. He was—he uh, was pitching the contact, and you know, I think once we scored some runs and the offense gave him a little, uh, you know, cushion there, he just continued to just, you know, pitch the contact. He's not the strikeout guy this year, but he still has his second highest single season total with 227. Yeah, that he speaks to his ability. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can look at it that way, and um, you know, not too many people can go in between those and, and do different things, and he can, and and that's the the part that makes him uh, dangerous, and and he, he can go on a nice little run, as he can do both of those. So, um, you know, tonight I thought he conserved himself. I mean, he still had a little left in the tank, but. Um, you know, when you start looking at the um, the, the score of that, he, he, he was good for the night. We figured that this was the year that everyone knew he was, you know, a great thrower. Is this the year that Chris learned how to be a great pitcher? Yeah, I think this is part of, you know, the maturing process of, you know, he can go out there and throw as hard as he can and try to strike people out. But he's learned how to stay in the game longer, uh, conserve pitches. Let defense work for you. I think that's you know something that uh, you know is going to help him in the long run is, is to be able just to you know go out there and and uh, and eat up innings. We figure out the next few days whether he goes again. Sunday. Yeah, I won't be tonight, but I mean we'll we'll see in the next couple of days if he's going to go uh, Sunday. All right, there's your answer to that. Back with more on Sox post game live in a moment. White Sox Post Game Live is presented by Subaru. Confidence in motion. Oh, you're not taking these. Hey, 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 you're not taking those. Whoa, whoa, you're not taking that. Come with me. You're not taking that. You're not taking that. You're not taking that. Mom, I'm taking the Subaru. Don't be late. Even when we're not there to keep them safe, our Subaru Outback will be. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Did you just see that? That was awesome. We have to try it. Okay. Okay, mine's not working. Maybe you have to bump it. Oh, yeah, do the bump it thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. You can take money out using the BMO Harris app. You want to buy a hairless cat? There's a pet store down the street. Cool. I think she said BMO Harris app. Yeah, that makes more sense. When your phone is your debit card, that's the BMO effect. BMO Harris Bank, we're here to help. I love getting more for less. That's why this control enthusiast rents from National, where I can skip the counter and choose any car in the aisle. On average, four out of every five rentals at National is a free upgrade. Getting a full size and paying for a midsize, as the boys from Loverboy so eloquently noted, I'm loving every minute of it. Go national. Go like a pro. If it rains and the times you might lose TV. No shows tonight when there's no
actually have Xfinity, so weather isn't a problem. Don't get left behind with DirecTV. Xfinity gives you reliable TV service, rain or shine. Sign up today or get started with this great offer. Call or go online today. You feel better about the food on your table when you know the meat is sourced from family farmers and is spiced using handcrafted seasonings. That's why our family is proud to provide the variety you want at your deli, including no antibiotics ever and organic meats. This is what we were founded on. Because at Dietz & Watson, we've always believed in quality above all else. All right, the Four Seasons Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing, Who's Hot, Who's Not, against the Rays in their careers. Uh, who's Hot? Uh, Victor Martinez. I think the, the White Sox can relate to this. Batting 349 with 14 homers. And Who's Not? Can you pronounce that guy's name, Bill? <laughs> not really. I can't, actually, I can't even see it. <laughs> Adani Hachavaria. Oh, Hachavaria. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. I got his bubblegum card. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Okay. I got the other guy's card, too. <laughs> Uh, White Sox win it big here tonight, 13 to six over the Razor. Honda winning box score. Lots of offense here tonight for the White Sox, top to bottom. Uh, we already talked about Adam Eaton. Tim Anderson goes three for five, two runs, three RBIs. Melky uh, had a big night as well. And speaking of Melky, let's uh, get to him because he had the two-run homer in the first to give the White Sox a three to nothing lead. You know what? He started the season strong. He was strong in the middle of the season, and he's ending it strong as well. Yeah, he's as, uh, he's right there with Abreu. Abreu had a couple of months off. Uh, Melky didn't, but they're both uh, really good hitters. Both of them are going to come up with some uh, big numbers. We're talking about average numbers, not uh, batting average, not so much. RBIs and home runs. Milk is not a big time home run hitter. I think that's number 14 for him. But again, if he's in the right situation, and he's there all year. He could easily drive in 100 runs. Melky's at 297 batting average. Yeah. So is Jose Abreu. If they try to get to 300 before the season is through, I'm sure they'd like to. Tim Anderson, meanwhile, uh, he keeps hitting. He hits his eighth home run here tonight. Gets a double as well. Three RBIs. I mean, he's got 20 doubles. So it spread off, spread out to the whole season. If he was to play a whole schedule, he came in the, the early part of June. This rookie year, he could have basically finished with about 15 homers and about 37 doubles. You know what? There's no question question mind you see why he's going to be a better hitter than a lot of young guys because he goes the other way quite a bit he strikes out a little too much that's all right you know this is his first what three quarters of a year yeah look at the numbers he's throwing up he's kept his average between 270 280 he made a, you know, a kind of a lazy air today not a big deal he's improved tremendously defensively so the White Sox actually have one of the key positions yeah uh, filled and that's shortstop well we see fans propose to their girlfriends at sporting events all the time, but tonight at Yankee Stadium, a guy went to do it, but he lost the ring in the stands. A marriage proposal gone wrong. Did they didn't lose his girlfriend? <laughs> he may have. Or fiance. Would he find the ring? Would he get her back? We'll have the video coming up next. White Sox Post Game Live is brought to you in part by your local Kia dealers. Visit MyKiaChicago.com to learn more. Update your bathroom with Tuscany Bath Furniture. The Riley Collection has a beautiful espresso finish, brushed nickel hardware, and frosted glass insets. This wall cabinet is $59, and the space saver is just $79. Sheet vinyl flooring is beautiful, durable, and easy to install. The Force Collection in five patterns, $0.84 cents a square foot. The Impact Series in five patterns, $0.99 cents a square foot. Find this and more during Menards Made in the USA sale. Save big money at Menards. I refuse to let myself be limited. I walk the walk of a man who isn't afraid to wear floral. I don't want to just look at the man in the mirror. I want to know who he is. It's me. I'm comfortable in my own skin, but a man can't walk in public in his skin alone. In the end, you can't waste any time thinking about the end. Wear what you want to wear. Just don't wear any doubts. This is she. Is that the doctor? Okay, wow, really? It's two? It's two. That's great news, thank you. It's two? Yes, it's two. It's two for one windows at Feldco. Feldco is offering two windows for the price of one, with no money down and no interest for one year. Two windows for the price of one ends Friday. Hurry, call now. For quality windows, siding and doors, call 866 for Feldco. 
the 2016 Nissan Rogue. An IIHS top safety pick with intuitive all-wheel drive. Take on any road in Nissan Rogue, Murano, and Pathfinder with intuitive all-wheel drive. Get to your local Nissan store today for 0% financing for up to 72 months or get a low $189 per month lease on Rogue. Thursday, the final homestand continues as your Sox look to take down Tampa. Watch your silver and black try to set off some late September fireworks and earn the win. White Sox versus Rays, Thursday at 7 on CSN Chicago. This is Comcast Sportsnet, the place for White Sox baseball. White Sox fans, show your team pride with White Sox checking and an official White Sox MasterCard debit card. Only available at your local Wintrust Community Bank. Go to Wintrust.com slash Sox to learn more. Member FDIC. All right, so how about this? Tonight at Yankee Stadium, a fan about to propose to his girlfriend. They put the moment on the Jumbotron. He loses the ring somewhere in the seat. This guy's life flashing before his eyes. He cannot believe this has happened. Everyone can see it. They cannot find the ring. But then, out of nowhere, somebody finds it under the seats. This guy's life and his now wife to be stays with me. They found it just in time because she was getting ready to go the other way up that <laughs> stairwell. Trust me. And now they can live happily ever after. I mean, can you imagine they could not find that's, that That's ring? terrible. That's, I, he had to be a nervous wreck. I'm telling <laughs> you, a know. nervous wreck, especially at a baseball park on the ground. Everyone sees it. The whole stadium is watching it. It's on the Jumbotron. And Peanut shells the ring. all over the place. Wow. All right. How so time for the Subaru Key of the Game recap. What was your key, Bill? Well, we want to see if it was the final sale. Now, we're going to argue about this. We're going to come back and talk about it. Again, I say I would really like... Chris Sale's going to make the call, I can tell you that. They're going to sit and talk. I think he's going to overpower him. I think he's going to go ahead and get his five innings in, but he doesn't need to. I, I don't know why, yeah. except for he's the type of guy that says, you know what, I get paid a lot of money. I want 36 X amount of starts. I want to make as many starts as I can, and that'll solve it. I'd like to see him go five innings and then take him out of the game. It's so easy for us to sit here and say, just don't have him pitch the final yeah. game because, you know, there's, there, what's the, there's no... What are you doing it for? There's too yeah. much risk involved. But if you're Chris Sale, you do this for a living, you pitch for a living, I could see where he would be coming from. We'll see what the answer is. They're going to talk about it in the next couple of days and come up with a plan, either yay or nay, for him to pitch on Sunday, the final game of the regular season. Time for one more break, but when we come back, we'll take a look at tomorrow's starters and wrap things up. The Sox, big win here tonight. They've won four in a row. We're back after this. and I was driving and then the next they just didn't stop and then I'm really sorry I wrecked the Subaru you I wrecked it you're okay that's all that matters a lifetime commitment to getting them home safely love it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru four seasons how can we help you it's the furnace the old pile of scraps burning through my savings hurry remain calm we're on our way 24-hour repair and same-day installation. Four Seasons can replace your furnace for as little as $17.95. Furnace and AC combos from $36.95. And take advantage of 0% interest financing for five years. For all the right reasons, call 866-4-SEASONS. If you have used the blood thinning drug Xarelto, you may be at a higher risk for serious internal bleeding. If you or a loved one have taken Xarelto and suffered internal bleeding, gastrointestinal bleeding, kidney bleeding, brain hemorrhaging, or your loved one died, call the Rely On Group. If you or a loved one took this drug and were injured, call the Rely On Group right now. Call the Rely On Group now at 800-234-3116 for a free consultation.
Sox and Rays back on the field tomorrow. It'll be Miguel Gonzalez against Blake Snell. Final start of the season for Gonzalez, who has been pretty crafty for the Sox this year. I feel he's been much better than his win-loss yeah. record. What do you think? I agree with that. I think he had a bad outing the last time out, but about six games in a row, he pitched pretty, pitched pretty well. You know what? If you're looking for a fifth starter, yeah. a fourth or fifth starter, he certainly has earned it with the White Sox. I don't know what his contract is, and I'm not sure what, what else they're going to do, but this is a guy that this is this... A, a prototypical number five starter yeah. might have one or two bad games and have five or six good ones in a row and that's all you really want and you can get a good bullpen and you can you know pitch them five or six innings well before the game Todd Frazier who's warming up playing some catch with fans in the stands check this out Frazier loves interacting with everybody fans groundskeepers security guards he treats everyone like equals as if like they're all in this together and we had a conversation about this a couple months ago and sure enough the proof is in the pudding it's like 30 minutes before the game and he's just playing catch with fans in the stands really cool yeah it's a good thing he found a couple there <laughs> 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 things have been pretty uh, <laughs> pretty slim out there but I, I I knew a lot of guys I think that's great what he's doing. I've, I haven't seen that done by too many guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was after the game, wasn't it? No, that was before the game. Oh, really? That was like that was like five hours before the game. So that's what was going on there. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching Super White Sox Post Game Live. For Bill Nelson, I'm Chuck Garfine. Sportsnet Central is next with Mark and Kelly. We'll see you. Alongside Mark Shinowski, I'm Kelly Kroll, and this is Sports Desk Central presented by GMC. Hopefully, we have a few fans. It's hard to, to follow us. that act by it Chuck and Bill. Follow. That's some good stuff. <laughs> well, Todd Hollingsworth tells us how Joe Madden might structure his postseason starting pitching rotation. Rajon Rondo impressing for the Bulls early, and the Bears send a recent first round draft pick off to injured reserve. Plus, Patrick Kane makes his camp debut, and for any of you thinking about a possible ballpark proposal, we have a clip coming up that may make you think twice. But don't worry, the story does have a happy ending. It's all next on Sportsnet Central. You're connected to Sportsnet Central, presented by GMC. We get things rolling with the Cubs. John Lackey making his final regular season start in Pittsburgh this evening. The veteran righty eyeing win number 11 on the year while the Cubs go for 101. Madden's club 13 and 3 against Pittsburgh this season entering the evening. Top of the second is where we pick things up. Bases loaded for Chris Coglin. And how about this? With two outs taking Ryan Volosong deep to the gap there off the top of the wall. It will clear the bases and Coglin just getting started on the night with a triple there. Cubs take a 3-0 lead. Top four. Now 3-1 Cubs. A man on for Dexter Fowler. This one, a deep fly ball to right center. Munenori Kawasaki is going to come on in to score. Fowler in for a double, his 25th of the season, and it's 4-1 Cubs. Bottom five now, Lackey striking out John Jaso. Then with runners on the corners here, Zheng Ho Gung. Down he goes to end the inning. Lackey allowing just the one run in five innings of work. Top nine, still 4-1. Runners at the corners with two out. Tommy Lastella hits a fly ball here to left, and Polanco, my goodness, should have had that one. Cubs would add another to make it 6-1. Those runs would matter, in fact, because in the bottom of the ninth here, Pirates with the bases loaded, one out. Polanco this time making up for it a bit with the RBI single off. Justin Grimm makes it a 6-2 ball game. Next up is Andrew McCutcheon. And he will single here to bring home two more runs. Pirates have the winning run at the plate now. Grimm is going to be pulled off for rookie Felix Pena. Gung at the plate, and Pena going to strike him out. But the runners advance here on a wild pitch. And then after an intentional walk, Pena is going to strike out Sean Rodriguez to end the game. So Pena with his first career save and the Cubs after about three and a half hours on the field. Hold on to win six to four with more on the Cubs and their rotation on October. Here's a look at some of the final stats, but we're going to send it over to our post game live team of David Kaplan and Todd Hollinsworth guys.
So as Joe Madden and Chris Basio crunch the numbers, Theo and Jed weigh in. Who should the playoff rotation be when October 7th rolls around at Wrigley for Game 1 of the National League Division Series? We have our expert, Todd Hollinsworth. How would you set up this pitching rotation? Well, let's say this right off the top. We've got five great selections. We know we can only use four guys, typical in the postseason, but the, all of them have had such good years, you could probably put this in and feel pretty good, comfortable whichever way you want to go. We're going to start with the top right here. This makes the most sense. John Lester's had that type of season. He's getting the ball in game one for me. Not only has he had an incredible year, and, and he's obviously up for the Cy Young Award, he's pitching really, really well right now. .54 ERA over his last seven starts, 6-0. and oh. He's dominated at Wrigley Field. He's dominated on the road. The one thing that I look at is all his pitches are working right now. He is in a great spot against lefties, against righties, and it really doesn't matter who you're putting him up against. He gets the ball in game one. Regardless of opponent. Guard, regardless of opponent. There's nothing there that tells you that, that, that there's some favoritism on one way or the other. He's actually been that good all season long against just about every Everybody. So number two, here's the one that's interesting. Kyle Hendricks is going to get the ball for me in game two. Now I think some people might be surprised. You say, who's the toughest guy to hit? Well, I've said it all season long. Jake Arrieta is still that guy. The most uncomfortable at most bat in the game. Most uncomfortable at bat in the game. But Kyle Hendricks has absolutely dominated at Wrigley Field. Listen to this. Nine and two with a 132 uh, ERA at Wrigley Field with a whip of .86. In 95 innings at Wrigley Field this year, only 14 walks, four homers allowed. That is absolutely outstanding. He's been really good on the road, but what he's done at Wrigley Field is otherworldly right now. He's pitching at home for me. He's getting the ball in game two. Now, game three, I think, makes the most sense. We know who our reigning Cy Young Award winner is, Jake Arrieta. The thing about Jake is that the splits don't tell you a whole lot. I mean, in that, he's pitched really, really well at home, and he's pitched well on the road. Now, the walks have been the conversation with Arietta, and when you think about it, here's where it really stands out. Jake Arietta on the road this year. Very, very interesting stuff. 11-2 with a 3-11 ERA on the road, but here's the thing that you want to pay attention to. At home, 46 walks in 99 innings. In 92 innings on the road, only 28 walks. So those control issues that he's had have shown themselves a little bit more at Wrigley Field. Plus, he's been better when Montero has caught him, which he did his last start, right. and he was magnificent. Absolutely. So to me, veteran, 30-year-old, he's been there, he's done that, he's won the award, he's, he can take the ball at home or on the road. If he was my number one starter in game one, I don't think we've got a complaint, but the fact that John Lester and Kyle Hendricks have dominated so much at Wrigley Field, they should be getting the ball in game one and two with Arietta being that you know option he could do either one. So he gets the ball in game three. In game four for me, it's why we brought him here. It makes all the sense in the world. John Lackey, the horse, the big man. He's going to go out there and he's going to get it done in game four. Again, another guy that for me can pitch uh, you know, at home or on the road. He's a big game pitcher and that's why he's here. And as he said, I didn't come here for a haircut. I came here for jewelry. Let's get it on. That's he right. He said, I'm getting ready for what he called the real games, the big boy games. Right. That's it. All right. There you go. There's the rotation. We'll see how Joe sets it up. If he listens to Holly, that's what you'll be seeing next Friday when the NLTS opens. And we'll have pre- and post-game coverage for you throughout the Cubs run, hopefully, to a world championship. Let's go back to you guys in the studio. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Well, we're wondering who the Cubs are going to play in those big boy games. Here's a couple of them right here. The NL wild card race certainly going down to the wire. A couple of the teams in action tonight. We start with the Cardinals hosting the Reds, bottom of the fourth. Cardinals down 2-1, to one, bases loaded for Aledmis Diaz. Diaz, who of course, grew up on the same street as Jose Fernandez in Cuba and attended his memorial service in Florida on Monday. With the bases loaded here, goes deep to left in injury losses Mets lefty Steven Matz will have surgery to remove bone chips from his pitching elbow he is through for the season Matz as you might recall started the clinching game of the NLCS against the Cubs last season meanwhile the team with the NL's second best record the Washington Nationals lose a very valuable player their all-star catcher Wilson Ramos he tore his ACL last night Ramos does a terrific job handling Dusty Baker's pitching staff. He also is having a career year at the plate, batting 307 with 22 homers and 80 runs batted in. The Nationals also aren't counting on having starting pitcher Steven Strasburg available for the division series, so they are pretty beat up right now. Finally. Now to hoops, and one thing we can safely say after the very first day of Bulls training camp, free agent point guard Rajon Rondo has already made a big impression on his new teammates and coaches. Rondo has an elite basketball IQ, and getting back to the Eastern Conference with a major market team like the Bulls could lead to a career rebirth at the age of 30. As Luke Stuckmeyer tells us, this camp is all about building positive team chemistry. 
if Jimmy Butler and the Bulls wanted to be coached harder this year, they got their wish on day one. Training camp opened with a nearly two and a half hour contact practice. Now everybody's optimistic on day one, but if chemistry was an issue last year, they'd like to make it a strength of the team this year. I think so. I think for the most part, yeah, you definitely got to like each other. If you don't, I mean, you can say this doesn't happen, but I feel like if you don't like the guy, you're not going to pass him the ball. It was a really good first practice. I thought our energy uh, energy levels were off the charts. Uh, I thought our guys were out there communicating. Uh, they played unselfishly. Uh, you know, it's, uh, obviously, uh, that first day is always a little sloppy with turnovers uh, and that type of thing, but, uh, but overall, very, very pleased with this first practice. The Bulls' new big three will each have a voice when it comes to leadership on this team. Rajon Rondo has been around here working out at the Advocate Center since he signed. The biggest thing that I've been most impressed with uh, with Rajan is, uh, you know, the minute he stepped on this floor uh, when he got here back in August as he pulled everybody together. Uh, he, his voice, uh, he's, he's got the best voice on the team. Uh, and, and when you have your point guard out there uh, that can get you into something and talk uh, the way he does, uh, that sets the tone for everybody. Uh, if you got a guy, you know, not only offensively getting you into something, but defensively making sure guys are pointing and talking and getting back and getting matched up in transition, that's where it starts. And uh, and again, he's, he's been here. Uh, he's been great. Great. You know, he's a guy that uh, watch film with uh, over uh, uh, in September before before we got rolling here with camp. Uh, but he's uh, yeah, he's 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 been great, and, and today uh, he got us off to a great uh, great start. I tell you right now, I will apologize to to Rajan early. He gonna fake me out one of them, them damn passes. He gonna do something crazy, and I'm gonna take off and get back on defense, and the ball gonna be coming to me in the corner. Like, it's just incredible because he sees everything. Like all oh, the defender took a wrong step this way, and I'm like, well, he gonna shoot a layup. But he wants you to get a basket, man, and that's an, that's an incredible feeling. So I'm sorry, Rajan, because you're going to definitely get a turnover from me one game. The Bulls are certainly ahead of schedule from where they were a year ago. Remember, day one, practice number one last year, Derrick Rose fractured his eye socket. Well, they're at least healthy heading into day two. Covering the Bulls at the Advocate Center, Luke Stuckmeyer, Comcast Sportsnet. Yeah, Luke, we gave uh, Taj Gibson a hard time about clipping Derrick with that elbow yesterday <laughs> in media day. Well, there's a reason that Rondo's voice carries so much weight in that Bulls locker room. Check out the all-time numbers. He's fourth in assists per game at 9.05. The only players he ranks behind. How about Hall of Famers Magic Johnson and John Stockton, along with current Clippers star Chris Paul. That's pretty good company right there. Very impressive list. Well, now to the Bears, where the hits just keep on coming. What was said to be a minor knee scope for Kyle Fuller back in August has turned out to be a much more major issue. The cornerback, who had been listed as week to week to this point, was moved to the injured reserve list this afternoon and could miss up to eight weeks. John Fox with 14 players now on the injured list. One of the biggest blows coming to the running back core, especially with Jeremy Langford now out for some time, prompting the Bears to pick up veteran Joyke Bell today. Coincidentally, Bell will get to face his former Detroit teammates this weekend. He was the Lions' second leading rusher last season with 311 yards on 90 carries. He also had 22 catches for 286 yards. And if you wondered how he felt about coming to the Owen Green Bears, we'll take a look at the picture. He looked pretty happy this afternoon as he's signing the contract alongside GM Ryan Pace and salary cap head Joey Lane. Big smile there on a picture he posted to his Instagram account with the hashtag bear down. Ryan Pace not so sure about that social media <laughs> thing. A little bit of a glare. Yeah, understandable. <laughs> well, Patrick Kane returns to Blackhawks training camp after Team USA's early elimination in the World Cup of Hockey. We'll hear from the reigning MVP ahead of tomorrow's preseason opener. And more baseball. Chris Sale tries once again to record victory number 17, and the Sox offense gives him plenty of run support. No team in the big leagues handles social media better than the front-running Cubs. Our 12 days of Cubs continues with a look at the team's approach to showing off their skills away from the field. Sportsnet Central on Comcast Sportsnet is presented to you by GMC. We are professional grade. A well-put-together man is said to be sharp. At GMC, we get why people appreciate that kind of precision. After all, precision is the kind of sharp that slices through a crowd. This is the precision of professional grade. It's the GMC 2016 model year sell down. Now get 20% below MSRP on select Sierra 1500 models in stock. That's over $10,300 on this Sierra SLT crew. 
Did you know your business doesn't have to suffer from slow internet? Comcast Business now offers blazing fast internet speeds up to 250 megabits per second, over six times faster than DSL. Get internet for as low as $59.95 a month. Call today. Comcast Business, built for business. Did you know sharing Wi-Fi with your customers could leave your business exposed? Only Comcast Business offers Wi-Fi Pro, two separate networks, one that's private for you and one that's public for your customers. Upgrade to Wi-Fi Pro for only $19.95 a month. Call today. Comcast Business, built for business. Honda knows sometimes it feels good to get out of your comfort zone and be a little different. With style and technology to help you stand out. The 2016 North American Car of the Year. The one and only Civic. Nothing compares to a Honda. We asked a group of young people when they thought they should start saving for retirement. Then we asked some older people when they actually did start saving. This gap between when we should start saving and when we actually do is one of the reasons why too many of us aren't prepared for retirement. Just start as early as you can. It's going to pay off in the future. If we all start saving a little more today, we'll all be better prepared tomorrow. Prudential, bring your challenges. How would you sum up this car in one word? Um, swanky. Sexy. Sexy. Luxurious. Classy. Fast. Sporty. Shop. Innovative. Sleek luxury sedan. Yeah, that's more than one word. <laughs> this is the all new 2016 Chevy Malibu. That's wow. impressive. Where's the local dealer around here? The qualified lessees can get this 2016 Chevy Malibu LT for around $199 a month. Plus, find your tag to get an additional $500 lease cash on select Malibu vehicles in stock. Well, it's been a really busy night tonight, and for any of you wanting to check out the Lance Briggs show, it's coming up right after we finish things up here on Sportsnet Central. So stick around. We turn our attention to the White Sox and Rays. Chris Sale taking the mound on the south side, looking to match a career high with his 17th win of the year. Lucky number three, four, five, or 17 here for Chris Sale. And he got plenty of offensive support tonight. First inning already a run on, and... A man aboard here for Melky Cabrera, who adds a couple more. His 14th home of the season. It's 3 0 Sox. They add two in the second. Now in the third. How about some more? Courtesy of Leori Garcia. He goes opposite field here for the three run shot and his second career long ball. It is 8 to 2 White Sox. And with the game in hand, Chris Sale, after giving up a couple early runs, settled down. He struck out seven in seven innings of work. The lefty fanned at least that many in each of the eight starts he's had against the Rays in his career. Pretty impressive stuff. He does get his career tying 17th win of the season and the Sox hammer Tampa Bay 13 to 6. Now we thought he'd have way over 20 yeah, months after did. he started out the year 10 and 0. <laughs> won his first 10 decisions. Tonight's GMC professional great player. We're going with Tigers all-star Miguel Cabrera. All he did was go three for three with a homer. Five runs batted in. Tigers route the Indians 12 nothing. Detroit one game back of the Orioles for the second wild card spot in the American League. Believe it or not, there will be preseason hockey at the United Center tomorrow. The Blackhawks hosting the defending Stanley Cup champion Pittsburgh Penguins. Patrick Kane is now back in training camp following Team USA's disappointing run at the World Cup of Hockey. But Kaner won't play tomorrow night as the coaching staff eases the reigning league MVP back into the preseason grind. It's one of those things where you kind of wish you were going out there and you know playing in front of the home crowd and, and being back in the Blackhawks uniform. And, getting a new season started but um, you know I think uh, we'll be here rooting on the guys that are playing mm -hmm. it'll be fun to see uh, you know the building full again which it always is and uh, everyone kind of getting excited for Blackhawk hockey again well I think we're gonna he's gonna probably want to do it sooner than later but I think we can be patient because he's already playing games and usually the veteran players when you come into a normal camp they want to play maybe you know two or three games just get their timing and but for him he's already played you know quite a few games and so there's no reason to get him in right away so we'll just kind of bring him along especially this early in camp. Kaner's running mate the captain Jonathan Taves still in action with Canada in the World Cup of Hockey. They begin their best of three series against Team Europe to crown a champion just over two minutes in Canada on the on mad rush. Brad Marchand finishes off the nice feed from Patrice Bergeron one nothing Canada. 
more pretty passing from the home team later in the first Ryan gets fakes the shot puts it on the tape of Steven Stamkos that's easy Canada up to nothing after 20 minutes seven minutes into the second team Europe finally gets on the board Thomas Tatar cleans up the rebound for the goal Europe cuts the lead in half 2 one and Slovakian fans in the building definitely enjoying that one but Canada puts it away in the third nice backhand pass from Sidney Crosby to Bergeron in the slot and he buries it Marion Hosa's Team Europe drops the series opener 3 to 1. Another magical season has the love fest between the Cubs and their massive fan base reaching an all time high and a big part of that special connection and gravitation has happened because of social media. The Northsiders have become relatable to sports fans far and wide by using Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. to show off their personalities, their likes, their dislikes and proving they're just like everybody else, allowing followers and supporters to feel like they really know their team. We have so many great individuals, I think. Uh, we got a lot of people that are uh, covered throughout a lot of media. You know, you got, you got like KB and Rizzo. Uh, you got a lot of people that are very interested in learning about the type of guys that we are. So uh, for uh, the Cubs to do that and uh, actually, you know, tell, tell the fans, follow our players, you know, it's a pretty big deal because it's big for us as well. Well, I think we do some different stuff like with Joe and, and doing the, the theme road trips or, um, you know, you know, you have a younger generation in here, really than most teams, uh, probably one of the younger one of the younger groups around. And um, I don't know, I think that social media brings out the true personality, and we have a lot of good guys in here. Uh, we got a lot of quality human beings that are uh, good baseball players, but they're also fun to be around and got a good sense of humor. So I think that shows through in the social media, and I think the fans appreciate that. They come and watch us play and uh, watch how much fun we have. and and enjoy uh, be a support in this team. And so uh, I think that just comes out in the, in the social media stuff. All right, stop. If you do it right, it's, yeah. you know, it's, so it's all about, uh, you can't really be tweeting out your true beliefs all the time, you know? So, <laughs> uh, a lot of people are sensitive nowadays, including myself, so. But I think if you do social media right uh, and what it's really used for, we have a great platform, and uh, I think guys on this team really, really use it well. There you go again with the drive. <laughs> I really believe in that, uh, the component, because every young person in this ballpark is going to have their uh, mobile device out at some point, and they're going to be checking on the variety of different social networks in an attempt to stay connected. Uh, new information, uh, the speed of information right now is just like you and I talking, obviously. So uh, I think it's great. I think it's a great tool. Um, I've also utilized Skyping in the past uh, to connect with classrooms, which I also, that's a, an idea I've been trying to get out there and utilize a little bit more, too. So any, any way we can connect to the younger, uh, younger generation kids these days in a positive way, I think is a good thing. Yeah, no question about it. The Cubs definitely lead the majors in fun. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, we know that Jim Mora is the king of sound bites. You remember playoffs. Playoffs? We'll show you why he was fired up last night during the Saints postgame show. That's the most negative statement that I hear from fans and media ever. <laughs> ever. And it bugs me. More of Jim's rant coming up. And you know, everyone has a story to tell when it comes to their marriage proposal. This couple's story had a very rough beginning, but it was a happy ending to tell you about. But Sportsnet Central returns. Today, we're talking about automotive awards. What if I told you there was a car company that received all of these awards? One company, one award, and all these? Chevy. Uh... Chevrolet is the most awarded car company of the last two years. I love it. I'm just going to stay in here. Is that okay? Yeah. Qualified lessees can get this Chevy Cruze for around $169 a month. Plus, find your tag to get an additional $500 lease cash on select Cruze vehicles in stock. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer.
Update your bathroom with Tuscany Bath Furniture. The Riley Collection has a beautiful espresso finish, brushed nickel hardware, and frosted glass insets. This wall cabinet is $59, and the space saver is just $79. Sheet vinyl flooring is beautiful, durable, and easy to install. The Force Collection in five patterns, $0.84 cents a square foot. The Impact Series in five patterns, $0.99 cents a square foot. Find this and more during Menards Made in the USA sale. Save big money at Menards. In case you need anything, just give me a call. <laughs> P.O. Box 17. Of course I'm a real company. You got the area code. Everything your customers see tells a story. Let the UPS store help you tell the right one. From business cards and banners to expertly packed shipments to mailboxes with a real street address. Come in today for help. When you were eight, you wanted to fly. When you were 13, to be a rock star. At 20, an artist. All these years later, you realize you had it right the first time. The 2016 Q50 from Infinity. Lease the all-wheel drive Infinity Q50 two-liter turbo for $319 a month or finance at 0% APR at your Chicago Land Infinity retailer. To gear up for a Cubs playoff run, CSN has a gift for you. It's the 12 Days of Cubs, a collection of behind-the-scenes stories on your favorite club. Every night on Sportsnet Central, sponsored by State Farm. I'm seven-time Pro Bowler Lance Briggs, and Tuesday nights just got a whole lot more interesting. Tune in for my take on our Bears every week. Because no matter what happens, you know that I'm going to have something to say. Don't miss the Lance Briggs Show tonight at 11 on CSN Chicago. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out. Ooh, I could use this today. <laughs> a sore muscle rub. <laughs> Hello, Anthony. What's your favorite kind of cheese? You put four pounds of Parmesan on your spaghetti every time you eat. Oh, oh my God. the best. He's got a little bit of what we call a weight problem. <laughs> oh! It's a special edition of Beer Money, presented by Coors Light, Saturday after Cubs Post Game Live. 30 minutes of non-stop laughing, I, told I can you promise you. They lead the majors in fun. It's so much fun. Well, time now for our play of the day, presented by Lexus to Yankee Stadium for number three Red Sox Yankees. Chase Headley lines one to right there. Mookie Betts slides, reaches back to make the play, but also doubles off Starlin Castro at first here. Check it out one more time. What an effort from Betts. The Yankees, however, win. We head back to the diamond for number one, Mets and Marlins. Jay Bruce going to line one up the middle, but how about Echevarria? How many times have we seen him make plays like this this season? The full extension, full Superman, gets some hang time too. Tough night for the Marlins, though, as they fall 12 to 1. What's that? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. Yep, it's still <laughs> funny after all these years. Jim Mora might not be coaching anymore, but he's still involved in the game as one of the analysts for a New Orleans television station. And he showed some of that trademark fire and frustration when asked if the Saints season was over after an 0-3 start. No, the season. God, I hate to hear that. I hate to hear that. I'm just saying the statistics it's say. The, is the season over? They have 13. They have 13 more games to play. Are they, is the season over? Are they, can they go home and pack their bags and go home? You just said the season's over. That's the most negative statement that I hear from fans and media ever. <laughs> ever. And it bugs me. Okay, well, how about is this? Is the season over? No, there's 13 more games to play. 13 more games to play, and you're saying the season's over? Unbelievable. I'm just saying. St Unbelievable. Statistically, the season is not over. Over. Do you think those players and coaches are going over there in there thinking the season's over? No way. Look, no way. They're going to the playoffs. Fantastic. And if you thought that was intense, how about the intensity here in the yeah. search at Yankee Stadium? After a fan went to propose to his girlfriend, he lost the engagement ring in the process. Of course, all of this is happening on the big board, too. Everybody watching this happen, everyone around him looking for the ring. You saw the pain on his face, but oh. thankfully, yes, a happy ending here. 
Not only did they find the ring, but Mark, she said yes. Oh, so that's fantastic. That's a pretty epic proposal story. So as did well. he drop it in a plate of gooey nachos, or where'd they find the ring? I didn't, didn't hear. Didn't I didn't see didn't see it, but I saw the cell phones out with the flashlight. I mean, he was getting a lot of help. Bless his heart. Jim Moore would say the proposal's <laughs> not over if you drop the ring as long as you get it back. No, they can still <laughs> go to the playoffs. They can playoffs. still make it work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Sportsnet Central presented by GMC. Stay tuned for the Lance Briggs Show featuring the insight and humor of good old number 55 and, of course, our host, Pat Boyle. And, of course, for all your Chicago sports news, 24-7, CSNChicago.com, the place to be. For Mark Chanowski, I'm Kelly Carl. Have a great evening, everyone. Playoffs! Playoffs! A well-put-together man is said to be sharp. At GMC, we get why people appreciate that kind of precision. After all, precision is the kind of sharp that slices through a crowd. This is the precision of professional grade. It's the GMC 2016 model year sell down. Now get 20% below MSRP on select Sierra 1500 models in stock. That's over $10,300 on this Sierra SLT crew. I refuse to let myself be limited. I walk the walk of a man who isn't afraid to wear floral. I don't want to just look at the man in the mirror. I want to know who he is. It's me. I'm comfortable in my own skin, but a man can't walk in public in his skin alone. In the end, you can't waste any time thinking about the end. Wear what you want to wear. Just don't wear any doubts. Add style and save on new flooring from Menards. Shaw Laminate Flooring is beautiful, durable, and easy to install. Nature's Element in five styles is 119 a square foot, or Classic Charm in two styles, just 214 a square foot. Add comfort with carpet from Loop Tex Mills. Bridal Path Carpet in two colors, 99 cents a square foot. Irreplaceable Plush Carpet in three colors, 149 a square foot. Find this and more during Menards Made in the USA sale. Save big money at Menards. Celebrate your freedom of choice for our 45th president, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. Show pride and support with a well-known American icon. Ch -ch -ch Chia. With Chia Hillary Clinton and Chia Donald Trump. Just water and watch them both grow. Own the special limited edition. Available at participating Kmart and online at Chia.com and Amazon. Buy the entire presidential collection. A great collectible gift. When I have an asthma attack, I feel scared. Sometimes my parents have to take me to the hospital. I feel like a fish with no water. You know how to react to their asthma attacks. Here's how to prevent them. Call 1-866-NO-ATTACKS. Visit www.noattacks.org or call your doctor. Because even one attack is one too many. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Lance Briggs Show right here on Comcast Sportsnet. Mike Sive, the former Bears linebacker, seven-time Pro Bowler, Lance Briggs. I am Pat Boyle. Uh, former teammate Nick Roach is going to join us. Ooh, go big time wide. Roach. My mm -hmm. third favorite linebacker. Your third favorite? Yes. Behind you, yourself, and Brian? Brian. <laughs> And it's it's Nick Hillenmeyer. Nick Hillenmeyer, okay. We'll get into his favorite linebackers coming up in our next segment. Unfortunately, the Bears 0-3 for the second consecutive season. Rough performance in primetime in Dallas. A defense that couldn't stop the Cowboys in the first half. They scored on all four possessions. Yep. I know there were injuries, but why were two rookies... Carson Wentz and Dak Prescott able to carve up this Bears defense in consecutive weeks. Well, I think for one, it starts with uh, it starts up front. You know, um, we're not able to get any pressure. No sacks. And yesterday. no sacks. You know, uh, and guys aren't getting in their gaps. You know, you're running. They were running a bare front. You run a bare front in order to stop the run. Right. Which means you have every gap accounted for. You should actually be plus side. You know, um, because you're outnumbering that offense. You know, and they're running the ball right up the gut, right in between the center and the uh, guard. Uh, guys are getting one-on-ones. You're supposed to, when you get one-on-ones, you're supposed to win your one-on-ones. You're supposed to be able to take on the guy in front of you and de uh, and get rid of him, shed that block, and get your uh, get yourself into that tackle. These guys aren't doing it. Uh, Ezekiel was running in between the, the center and the guard untouched. 
And, and then when he got into some open space, uh, Zeke was hurtling Chris Prozinski. Mm -hmm. uh, we know he was a hurdler back in, in uh, high school. Uh, a good one. You don't like to see it when you're on the defensive side. And uh, Prozinski found out just exactly what it's like. Well, to his defense, we nobody teaches how to tackle hurdlers. That's a good point. Practice. That's a good point. <laughs> but you, we do teach to keep your head up. You know, if you're not going to keep your head up, <laughs> then you're not going to see you're tackling. If you're not going to keep your head up, then guy's going to hurdle you, and you're going to look like you're tackling air. All right. So here's what people want to know. Dallas was with was without their left tackle, the starting left tackle. Right. They lost a, a guard during the game. Um, you know, they were still able to run at will. Uh, mm -hmm. five yards per carry and the Bears did not register a sack you know mm -hmm. does this speak to the overall the roster the 53 man roster just not having enough talent or is it more scheme and coaching you, you we can talk about scheme we can talk about coaching all day I remember when uh, when Levy was here everybody was talking okay well well why aren't we in the playoffs or why isn't this happening why didn't we stop this happening in this game is it the scheme oh man it's this cover two scheme okay now the trestman's here is it the is it the scheme is it the coaching you know at the end of the day guys have to get out on the field and play ball you know if if you're in a bare front and you know that this team's going to run the ball and you know where you're supposed to fit then fit i mean you have a, a young guy in uh kwakowski who came out and
Detroit defense. There's two really good players, you know, and two of their best, but uh, it definitely would affect any defense losing those type caliber players. But, you know, I don't know, I don't know the, their status right now. And right, we're at the point right now, we got to worry about ourselves and we got to keep getting better every day in practice. And that, that's really what we're focused on right now. This is a, it's a unique challenge because this is a good group of uh, players, but we're, we're focused on us. Well, when, when you look at their defense, 61 Hyder, what, what has allowed him to have some success as a pass rusher? They do, they do a really good job up front, and they have for a couple of years. Um, they move them around. They, they're, they're moving all over the place, and they play a bunch of different fronts. You know, they, there's a bunch of different fronts. There's a bunch of different personnel groupings. They got guys coming in and out, and the, that's definitely the strength of their, their uh, defense. So here's a look at some of the damage that uh, Ziggy Ansa has uh, been able to do throughout his career. 14 and a half sacks, third in the NFL last year, and the most, uh, second most in a single season in Detroit history from Robert Porsche. Oh, yeah, he was a heck of a player. He played from 99 uh, uh, on, and then DeAndre Levy, 151 tackles, as we mentioned, back in 2014. Now, this kid, Kerry Hyder, you just saw a little bit of video from, wearing number 61 on the 61. defensive line. Well, you know what that means. And he was an undrafted free <laughs> well, agent. See, they give you that number when they're able to make it. A practice squad guy with the Jets two years ago, <laughs> primarily with the Lions. He saw a little bit of action last year with the Lions, but he doesn't want to give up number 61 because it reminds him where he came from. That's too. exactly right. Just keep, keep a hold on to that and... Hold off another week before you decide to get good again, okay? So he is second in the NFL right now with four sacks, second only to Von Miller, uh, tied with someone else whose name escapes me. I'll try to find that when we come back. But when we do come back, we will hear from one of the guys who will be trying to block Kerry Hyder, and that is Kyle Long. He's missed just one game throughout his Bears career as he continues fighting through a little bit of a shoulder issue, but full participation, and now he wants his team to get after it and get back in the win column. Join Bears Care in raising funds for programs supporting Chicago area breast cancer patients and their families. Purchase your Real Bears Fans Wear Pink shirt at chicagobears.com slash pink. I'm Jamie Foxx for Verizon, America's best network. And I'm Jamie Foxx for T-Mobile. You are not Jamie Foxx. T-Mobile's got unlimited data. Oh, really? Unlimited high-speed data? Well, that just depends. Unlimited on. 4G LTE speed hotspots? No, but... Unlimited HD video? If you pay extra for it, that sounds pretty limited. Don't get fooled by a limited, unlimited plan. Mm -hmm. Verizon gives you tons of data without all the restrictions. Get 20 gigs and four lines for only 160. All on America's Best Network. P is for permission to indulge. O is for out of this world. L is for loving the seasonal cuisine. A is for access to everything, including the aisle. R is for reclining in tailor-made bedding. And I must be dreaming. S, so long, jet lag. Polaris from United. I see gold in the air, in promises, in the streams. I see love in our hearts, futures in our dreams. I hear the dreams. When the sun goes down, the limes go in. My passion's not seasonal. It's all year round. I'm out here six days a week. Sundays, I have other plans. Can't say I have a green thumb, it's more blue and orange. This is my home field, and everyone knows who I'm rooting for. latest updates and messages you want to hear from your Chicago Bears by signing up at chicagobears.com slash emails. 
Welcome back. Since my memory failed me, I looked up who is tied for second with Kerry Hyder in sacks in the NFL right now. It's another NFC North guy in Minnesota's Everson Griffin. Everywhere Kyle Long looks, it seems like youth is surrounding him. Not that he is an old guy himself, but he has a rookie center that he's operating next to. There is now a rookie running back who will likely start on Sunday. Kevin White as well can be considered a rookie. He's the old man, but he is hoping to be a part of leading this team back into the win column. So